Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We've got a cool video in store for you today. We are continuing our series on the picking fish by color. This one is blue fish. This is going to be a rather long list, but it's filled with amazing fish. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. What are we starting with today? I think we should start off with the tiniest on the list and that would be the Blue Dream Shrimp. Who doesn't love shrimp? And we are sponsored by Flip Aquatics. They have a large selection of beautiful shrimp, but a big favorite is the Blue Dream Shrimp. Yeah, we have those in the fish room. And by the way, we've done all kinds of species profiles on many of the fish that we're going to feature here today and invertebrates. Check out the description below if you want more information. But the Blue Dream Shrimp are amazing. I think they are my favorite Neocaridina shrimp. Hardy, a really? lot of color, really cool. And if you're staying with that theme of invertebrates, I think also the the blue mystery stale. Oh yeah. So it's not like hardcore super bright blue, but it's definitely going to add some blue color, a little bit of interest to the tank, a good algae eater. All right, staying with nano fish, I think a few really cool options. Some of my favorite would be the CPD, the Celestial Pearl Daniel, otherwise known as the Galaxy Rasbora. has a beautiful blue color that's on the body. You can also consider uh, Emerald Dwarf Rasboras. I did a nice scape in the kitchen that's quite mesmerizing. I like to watch that a lot and then also you have and also you have a very interesting fish the axle rod eye yeah those are really cool fish and i think the benefit of all of them is they can go in a small tank mm -hmm. so anywhere from a five gallon and above you can keep them in a nice group and they're going to show a ton of really cool personality again staying with that smaller theme if you're looking to add some blue color to a tank and want to keep the fish small keep in mind you've got your standard neons yes they're going to also add some red which is really pretty along with the Cardinal Tetra. So both the standard neons and the Cardinal Tetra are going to bring you a significant amount of blue. At least half their body is blue. And you're going to really see them from across the room with all those little blue bodies <laughs> shining. The other one too, and we did a species profile on this one as well, and that's the blue Tetra. They get a little bit bigger than your standard neon, a little bit more assertive, probably best for that 20 gallon or above, but they also show a significant amount of blue color. Now the next choice, you can basically pick your shade of blue. You will have so many options, you just won't know what to do. Well, the betta. The betta fish, you can have ones that have a little bit of blue, a lot of blue. A lot of them will change to blue. Just, uh, if you love blue, look at bettas. And along those same lines, if you're looking for a larger centerpiece fish, depending on the size of the tank, you've also got many of the garamis. So you've got the blue garami, the opalines, and you've got a couple of different types of dwarf grommies. Those are all excellent additions if you're looking to add some blue. These, again, is gonna, they're gonna be tank dependent, so you're gonna wanna do a little bit of research. Again, check out the video we've got below to get more information on these fish, because the blues and the opalines can be a little bit more aggressive, but a really nice, beautiful blue color. Now, if you want a whole lot of blue swimming around your tank, you can look at the platy. The blue neon platy will give you a lot of really cool blue color, as well as the blue Moscow guppy. They're going to give you a lot of happy energy in your <laughs> tank. Also relatively easy to breed. And so far, we've predominantly talked about fish that are going to do well in a community tank, ranging from anywhere from your nano sizes up to larger four-foot tanks. We also have one here that I think is a pretty interesting fish. One I showed in a fish room tour that I did of LRB Aquatics, and that is the Blue Gularis. Every time people watch that video, I cannot tell you how many people say, what's that fish at this timestamp? And it, it's the Blue Gularis, and it is an amazing, amazing fish. Very difficult to find, very expensive, but also really cool. In addition, you've also got those larger schooling community fish like the rainbows. So don't forget about yeah. your rainbow fish. A lot of them are blue in color. They get a little bit larger, best done in a four foot tank or larger, but also really cool. Gonna give you a lot of blue. Now we are going to travel along to the centerpiece fish, kind of going into the cichlid arena. And I think a great choice is the electric blue ram. That was one of the first fish that I absolutely fell in love with and really wanted really, really bad. And it'll get you a lot of really beautiful blue color in a very small body. And also with a lot of personality. And again, this is a fish you can keep in a 20 gallon or above. And along those lines, you've got the electric blue ram. You also have the electric blue acara. 
Love the electric blue car. We've had them in our fish room for a mm -hmm. long time. We've had big groups of them right now. We have a group in a 125 with some other fish, but these fish are going to allow you to have a striking blue color. Best kept in at least a 40 gallon breeder or larger because these are fish that are going to approach six inches or so and be very round bodied and they're just really cool. Not all that aggressive, just like the ram. So that's a pretty cool thing too. And when you're talking centerpiece fish, I don't think that you could talk about it except by mentioning the discus fish, which I have my eye on at some point. We don't know, but two of my favorite ones happen to be blue, the blue diamond and the turquoise. These are amazing fish. Stunning. Absolutely. And they're going to require some special care requirements, which means you're going to want to do some research before you go out and just add blue discus to your tank because they're going to need some temperature and water parameter requirements that are going to be a little bit unique. If you don't want to deal with that, there are bluish angel fish. I wouldn't say that they're crazy deep dark blue, but they are a very striking shiny blue that are going to be a little bit easier to care for, probably easier to find and possibly a little bit cheaper too. But don't forget about your angel fish when you're looking for blue. Now, before we continue, I think we should head back down to the bottom and talk about some of the really cool bottom dwellers. That would be the Blue Phantom Pleco, one of my all-time favorite plecos in the world. These sometimes are not cheap, but they are very rewarding. When you can see them, that's the other thing too, is they tend to hide a little bit, but they're great fish, definitely going to give you that blue color. The other one that you could consider, and the, there's actually three of them, the Rainbow Shark, and the red tail shark, these are aggressive fish. Best left for people who have been keeping fish for a while. Need a larger tank, at least a four foot tank, and they should be kept with semi-aggressive fish, but they are a very striking blue color. If you don't wanna deal with all that aggression, there is a fish, in my opinion, that looks even better, and that is the red tail botia. Mm. This is an amazing fish that gives you that blue color with the red tail. Basically, it's like a clown loach, only it doesn't get as big, but just as goofy. Best kept in larger groups. But all of those could serve as kind of a scavenger crew, bottom of the tank, your, in your blue phantom pleco is going to hopefully take care of a little bit of algae for you. Now, if you are into African cichlids, you have so many choices when it comes to bluefish, and I think that's one of the things that attracts people to African cichlids. If you look at the peacocks, many, many different options. We're just going to mention a few, but know that you have a lot of options here. One of which is the red empress. I think we might have mentioned this back when we talked about redfish, but it's actually more blue. Even though it's called the red empress, it's a, it's a fish that's a little bit more blue. Yeah. I know you have a favorite. The star sapphire cichlid. Oh, if you want a looker in your tank, take that one. Yeah, these fish are interesting because not only do they look amazing with the lights on, but if you if you turn the lights off and you just have room lights on, it's Ooh. when you really get to see their amazing color. Another one, and this is one where I, I it's, it's an interesting fish. That's the blue dolphin cichlid. I love the blue dolphin cichlid. They don't tend to be super aggressive. They do get on the larger side. So a lot of these peacocks and haps that we're talking about here, they do get larger. At least a 75 gallon is recommended, if not larger. But the blue dolphin is an amazing fish. And then you have the whole side of the Imbunus cichlids. Now, continuing on that theme, of course, you've got all the Imbunus cichlids, and there are so many that are blue. So, for instance, you've got the Pseudotrophia cellosi, where the males are blue with blue barring vertical stripes, where the females stay yellow. Very similar looking, you've got the Demasoni, very aggressive Imbuna. Highly recommend you have a lot of experience, not only in fish keeping, keeping cichlids before you venture into the Demasoni. You have the Sokolophi, which have a nice light blue color. Pseudotrophius ACI, which is an amazing fish. Gets pretty large. That one you definitely want at least a 75 gallon tank, but they're a little bit more relaxed and chilled out in Buna. You also have the Imsobo, which are kind of like a Solosi in the way that they behave, but they've got a more blue blotched coloring to them, which is a really pretty addition. And of course, you've got the Johani. This is a very common fish that you're going to find at your big box stores, your pet co's, your pet smarts. Might not be labeled that way. This is a fairly aggressive Imbuna with an amazing blue color. And of course, there's one that I know that stands out for you. Yes, and this is one if you want something with a cool name, looks really cool, and is a little bit less common, I would go with the Blueberry OB. Yeah, the Blueberry OB, often they produce these because there are some type of a hybrid between various types of Imbuna, possibly some peacock cichlids as well. But when they line breed these things for the blueberries, they are very striking fish. Now for a much larger option, that would be the Frontosa, a standout 
bluefish. Absolutely. Now we're traveling into the, the Lake Tanganyikan fish. Great fish, done a species profile, and they get huge. Definitely going to grow over a foot. Takes a long time to grow them out, but they are very rewarding. Going to need a massive tank, best kept in large groups as well. And then, of course, staying with the Lake Tanganyikans, if you want something far smaller, that's the Cypochromus. Cypochromus are amazing fish. We've had them in our fish room for a long time. There's different types. We've got Cypochromus leptosoma with a very beautiful blue body with yellow tails. At least that's the way the males look. Females stay a little bit more silvery, but those you can keep in a 40 gallon breeder or above. Four foot tank is probably best for them. And just like them, you've also got some of the feather fins. I'm not gonna go into all the different types. <laughs> Get very, very expensive, but they are also very pretty. So I think we have given you some few blue fish options. Again, I know we've left out a bunch because there's a million different types of blue fish. We just wanted to hit on some of the ones that I think are pretty cool. Gave you a lot of different options, anywhere from nano to big African cichlids. Again, if you want more information, check out the description below. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.